Hello on guard. Well, if it ain't Peggy. Yes. Rogue again, eh? No, sir. Not if you helps me. Well, what have you got this time? Pearls. Pearls? Yes. Come in. Lord love me, ain't that beauty? <laughs> I didn't think an oyster could be so silly. And no good? Fifty pounds. Kid. Well, pearls is hard to get rid of. Not these, matey. Bob White's coming tomorrow. The American trader? Yes, and you'll get five times as much as that. I'm shoving off to Nidra so I'd see myself. Bob Bade, eh? Uh, yes. A hundred pounds, and that's the best I will do. Don't I get nothing for me, eh, could you? All caved. Eight, two, three, four, five, four, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go. Cheerio, old thing. And tell Bob White I was asking for him, won't you? All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Jesus, Mr. 83, you say the drinks and smokes you've never pined for. You never even want to go upon a honeymoon. Oh, 
What a nice it. What about a dog, guys? You know what you can do? Polly Boo, Potty Boo. No. Is that all I get for me shilling? I can't. I, I'm married. No, no, no. What lady done that? Who gave it to that? Why, that's my knee, you blighter. It's me, Joseph. What do you want? Just going to bed. It's an easy country that the man go to bed so early, Morgan. There's Anita. In bed. Oh, she gets her beauty sleep, eh? That's nice. Oh, and by Sunday, she looks like roses, eh? Why Sunday? I thought that maybe Sunday was the day you had fixed for our wedding. Did you told? No. Of course, a lot of things got to be settled first, Joseph. We had a bargain, didn't we? Yes, but she, she's a beautiful girl. Oh, you? so that's it. Changing your mind again, eh? No, but, but our poor Maybe man. I agree to wipe out all the debt what you owe me and give you back half your fields. But that aren't enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, my, my. That is your daughter. A queen covered with gold that I should pay any more. She's a lady, aren't she? Young. Beautiful. And there ain't a man on this island is ever as much as the other end. She's full of the devil. Why, oh, you don't want to marry a dead one, do you? She's only eye spirited. All spirit is that way. And full of love. Just like her mother was. Yeah, and look how quick her mother died. Old ones don't die so easily. There's a lot of me in Anita. If there's another you in her, maybe she won't give her part of the bargain. How do I know she agrees? She'll do what I tell her. Because I need her money. 
Well, you could keep the hundred pounds you get tonight. I will keep my mouth shut. A uh, hundred pounds? You don't think I give a guy a hundred pounds to dance a jig with a peg leg, do you? Tomorrow comes Bob Wade, the American trader. Maybe I make a deal with him. I sell him some pearls and I buy Anita a nice lace dress to get married in, so call her and tell her the good news. She's asleep. Wake up. <laughs> Any girl should be glad to wake up for her future husband. what it meant. <laughs> it's funny and I learned it from the phonograph just to bring from Havana. Oh. Havana is full of them kind of songs. Oh, Havana. Blinky? Yes, darling. Why you don't take me to Havana? Well, you see me, darling. <clears throat> you see, if my boat hadn't sunk... If, if... Oh, you tell me about these boats ever since I was a baby. Uh. Why don't you get a new boat? I cannot walk to Havana. Oh, well, if I, if I could find a puddle. A what? A puddle. A what? Um, a pearl. <laughs> oh, a pearl. Oh, if he finds a pearl, if he get a boat, always eat, eat. <laughs> when I'm a grown man, I'll be an old lady. I want to see Havana now. Havana, with his music, is for riding carriages. And wash all over every day. With soap that smells like heaven. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't want to be there. Huh? Sing us about pirates, Blanky, huh? Come oh, on. yes. Uh, the one about the great grandfather of my father's father. That uh, right, darling. Or Henry Morgan was a man, what a man! Wherever he went, blood rivers ran, what a man, yer He ran toward the sea, as no man did he. But all the blood of many men flowed free to cool Sir Henry.
women too, he'd kill or woo, as you shall see. When the were ran high and the night was dark, with knives and swords they took the bark. They slew the men, they drank the wine, they puzzled and shrilled like human swine. They took the women with buccaneer swank, and them that resisted walked a plank. Oh, ha, 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 Sir Henry Morgan was a man, what a man, yeah, Blinky? Yes, Dad. Did I kill the women too? Nothing stopped your great-grandfather, Sir Henry Morgan. He was the greatest pirate that ever lived. He was knighted by the king. Yes, but they killed him too. Yes, they did, Dad. I'm glad. Glad? Yes. It is wrong to make people suffer. Not for pirates, Anita. No. No? No. <laughs> Why, well, they'll kill anything. Oh. <laughs> come on, Blinky, sing a dance. Oh, come on. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> You get home. Well, let me lose. Get home. Well, I let me lose. Oh, I said get home. If you touch her again, I'll kill you. Oh. Believe her, you landlubber. You're tossy tibble. How's here, you yellow mongrel, you? Come out, have you? I'm not through with you yet. I will dance if I want to. Bye, get up with him, What I'm scared you, Anita? My father is mad with me. Uh, pfft. Your father's always mad with someone. Uh. Yes, but... Fine carrying on. You see? You see? He doesn't want me to be happy. Just wait till you hear what he's going to do for you. See how happy he'll make you. Go on, tell him, Morgan. A nice way to speak about your poor old father, who's always had your happiness at heart. And tonight, too, when Joe's appeared, has done us the honor to ask for your end in marriage. What? Sunday. <laughs> now aren't you ashamed? Joseph here is the richest man in the island. And when he dies, we'll get his money. What? Well, yeah. I didn't know. He's as healthy as a pig. He live forever. Well, as long as I live. You live like a queen. He's even giving you a lace dress to get married in. A lace dress, Joseph? Cover it with embroidery. Fancy that. And tomorrow, if I sell my pearls to the American trader, you go to a van on your honeymoon. Nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice for you. Uh, you. You mean you don't like that arrangement, eh? <laughs> Why, Joseph, I couldn't marry a man with a face like yours for all the lace dresses in Havana. What's that? Don't get angry. She likes to joke. After we get married, it'll be my pleasure to teach you how to be respectable to her husband.
Well, if you don't like my face, maybe my pocketbook makes you forget it, eh? I'm sorry. I did not mean to hurt you, Joseph. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I thought you and my father teased me. Forget it. Sunday then, eh, Morgan? Right, Joseph. I just look in the dance hall, Morgan, to find out if they know who killed that picnic trader. What do you mean, talking to Joseph like that? Do you want to ruin me? I will not marry Joseph. You will do what I tell you. What I care about Bridge. I do not love him. You're just like your frowsy mother. There's not a bitter. My mother was a lady. She told me to wrong to marry someone you do not love. Your mother was a fancy girl from Spain. What did she know about love? She worked herself to death for you. thing to say to your poor old father. Now I've got a mind to tell Joseph not to see the American fair tomorrow. But that would please you, wouldn't it? You can't cheat me. Bob Wade pays prices he does. And if you think I'm going to let you ruin your future, you're mistaken, my lady. If the American buys his pearls tomorrow, Joseph will be rich. And whether you like it or not, Sunday's your wedding day. <laughs> Bring her up in the wind, Frank. Lower away your chip and four staysails. Stand by your port anchor. Stand by your port anchor. All your mainsail flat. Let go. Let go.
Yes, but... Oh, it's you, is it? Yes. Ah, Gary, I thought it was an earthquake. What's up? Blinky, I have to tell you something. Yes, but wait, wait, how hold your horses? How hold your horses? Here, spotty, you lazy lover. Get me me mantle. I, I... Blinky. What? You see that boat? Boat? Yes. Boat? L look right here. What boat? L look, this big one. You see it? Wait, wait till I get me glass. Well, here we are. Oh, hello, Anita. Hello. Yes, lad, get me me glass, lad. For you. Blinky. Yes. Here. That boat? Keep your eye on the boat. Huh? Oh. That boat is bringing the devil to this island. No. Yes. And you must help me kill him. Kill him? Yes. What for? What did he do to you? Well, I tell you. Yes. Last night, uh -huh. my father sent me to Joseph. No. Yes. What? And these men give money to Joseph to buy me. I tell you, I will not marry Joseph even if I have to kill this American. Kill him? Yes. Why? I don't blame you. Be Gary, I'll help you do it. Good. What's the matter, Anita? Reptiles and scorpions. Do you see him? Do I see him? I'm looking right at him. Oh, let me see. You let don't me pull the other oh. eye out. Oh. He's putting all his money in the boat. Do you see him? He must not see Joseph. What, the old jellyfish? What the heck? What is it? What can we do? I don't know how to speak American. <laughs> don't be silly. It's the same language, lad. <gasps> well, that's good. Blinky? Yes, yes, darling. How we can kill him best? Now think. No, let's see. <clears throat> rat poison. All oh, rat poison. Oh, rat boy. Well, he's a rat, ain't he? <laughs> Make him walk the plank. <laughs> oh, no. No, walk the oh. plank. Don't be silly. Walk oh. the plank. Uh, we'll take him out no, no, and no. we'll put him... Oh, no, 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 Blinky. I have a plan. What is it? What? Boy, that's a hard-looking bunch of pirates. Yeah. But Bob, look at those pirate tests. Onion, be careful. Well, I'll try. Look out! Look What do you want? Are you Mr. Bob Wade? <laughs> you said it, boy. I'm to take you to Joseph Horngold. All right, Captain Kidd. Right down the hey, Bunyan, come out of the hero. Nothing. Hey, That's who we to Bob Wade.
Now you guys here. Come on, quick. Now let me see how it looks. Good morning. You are Mr. Robert Wade? I was when I left home. Blinky. Hey, is Mr. Horngold here? Come in. I send the boy for him. A glass of wine? Well, aren't you going to drink with me? I see. For good luck. It is an old Spanish costume. Well, here's down the old hatch. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, What's the big idea? Well, uh, 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 you see, sir, it was, uh, it was like this. Uh, uh, well, uh, the, 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 the chair was broke. My sister here, she thought you were going to sit in it. <laughs> Your sister? Uh, uh, yes, my sister. You go now. Yes, I go. go. <laughs> you go now. Tell Mr. Horn, go. Mr. Wade is here. Go. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. He's too beautiful to kill. Go. May we have a return to the date with you, sir? <laughs> the chair is broke. <laughs> I want to go. Well, what's stopping you? My father, he would not let me. Who, Horngo? Oh, <laughs> oh no, he's not my father. My father's name is Morgan. The great-grandfather of my father's father 
What's the novel, man? Not old Morgan the pirate? Yes. Well, what do you know about that? I know everything about it. <laughs> She's got to go to Havana. I don't know. Why? If I get a ticket, you take your new boat? Uh-oh. I don't carry passengers. You better stay here where you are. But I don't want to stay here. No nice people live here. And besides, my father beat me. No. Yes. <laughs> what you want with Joseph Horngold? What do you mean? Joseph Horngold is a bad man. He cheat you. I tell you, last night, an English trader was killed in the dance hall. You be careful. What's the idea, kid? What are you telling me all this bump for? Why well, I know these islanders backwards. You know Joseph Horngold backwards? Yes, why? Would you like to marry a man with a face like that? Well, hardly. All right. You give money to Joseph and my father make me marry him. Holy mackerel. Do they still do that? Mm-hmm. Why you don't buy me from my father? Baby, where I come from, it's the woman who pays. Huh? All right. I pay. How much you want? Ah, oh, listen, sister. Well, I was only kidding you. You're too nice a girl to talk like that. And say, your father can't sell you to anybody. Oh, you do not know my father. Maybe I could give you pearls if you marry me and take me to Havana. Haven't you got any sweethearts on this island? No. Well, holy trait. What's wrong with the boys around here? Well, this island boy's no good. Now let me tell you, if your old man ever beats you again, tell me, and I'll knock his can off. Anita! 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 What's the idea? Yes, ma'am. He was supposed to show up in my office and never did. My family, please, you will not tell him. Leave that to me. Hello, Mr. Vay. Hello, Horngo. They told me at the beach that you was already at my... And I find you here. Well, isn't this house? I thought... Well, the boy told me... This is Mr. Morgan. This is Mr. Morgan. Shake hand with Mr. Wade. Mr. Morgan. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Wade. Hiya, Morgan. Oh, fine. I'm sorry we was late, Wade. But maybe you ain't so sorry, eh? Congratulations, Horngold. Oh. Oh, oh Anita, get some wine, will you? And bring some more glasses, will you? Hurry along. Uh, sit down, Mr. Wade. Sorry, I've got to get back to the boat. Oh, sit down. But, Mr. Wade, I get some of the finest pearls ever I had. And a black one, too. Have you got them with you? Sure. Night, eh? What does the lot weigh? Oh, 75 grains. Mm. More or less. Mr. Bate, I pay 250 pounds for them. But I wouldn't hold you up. You can have the whole lot for what it cost me and I won't make a cent. Not a halfpenny. I need them cash. <laughs> you know how it is when you're going to get married, eh? You lousy jade! Here, let me do that. It, it's yes. all right, dearie. Get another party. Oh, that's all right, Margo. Well, you have never it. mind. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Wade. We'll get another bottle in a minute. 250 pounds, and I tell you, that's a bargain. 
Well, I'd have to weigh them first, Hongo. Well, my scales is in my office. Yeah. My boat. Oh. Take them out there, eh? I think that'll be best. Come out tonight. Oh, Mr. Bate. If you get some nice lace dresses on the ship, I look them over. Yes, wedding dresses. I never trade in skirts. Wait. Why, you little pirate. Here. How did you get up here? Trying to change. Holy mackerel. Don't you know you shouldn't come out here alone? Uh, well, uh, uh, oh, but I have good reason. What? Uh, well, my father beat me again. No. Here. Oh. Look, I show you. You see this? You see? Oh, this is not a place. This is last week. Now I show you today. You see this one? No, I don't see anything. You don't see anything? No. Oh. Oh, this is in wrong place again. I'll take your word for it. Now you knock his can off, eh? Eh? Why, I scramble him like an egg. You scramble Joseph too. 
Are you still worried about Joseph? Oh, Joseph. <laughs> Well, you know how it is when you're going to get married, Mr. Wade. <laughs> oh, look. Joseph and my father. He find me here, you me? Here, come here. Now, don't be afraid. Come. Here, quick. Mm -hmm. What do you got today, big boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got everything. Got any dates? No dates. Got any bananas? No bananas. Well, have you got any pineapples? Yes, great big ones. <laughs> well, you think you could? Huh? <laughs> Ahoy there! Hey, hey! Don't go away now. Stay right where you are. I'll be back and explain it. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> First and all. My sales are down in the past. Come on. You know I bait them. They've gone. You did not buy the pearls? No. Oh. I'm so glad. Joseph was very mad with you, no? A little bit. Did you knock his cane off? No, but I felt like poking him in the eye. I didn't on account of you. Come on, get out. Marry with me and take me to Havana. You want to look out, kid? I might take you up. Just since you don't belong in this place. Then why don't you wait? <laughs> I can't. Well, I'm here on business, not kidnapping. What's that kidnapping? That's when a big husky guy comes along and steals a nice little girl like you. Oh, but you want to steal me. I give me to you. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All my life, I wait like my mother tell me. For the men I love. Listen, sister. Love doesn't come in a half an hour. Love come in a minute. Yeah? How do you know? Well? Hear that song? Yes. Many times I have heard it before, but it makes no difference to me. The moon shines down here every night since I born. Same old moon. Those stars twinkle ever since I remember. I know they are there, but I pay no attention. But tonight, near you, that song made me sick, all lovers. The moon warned me, and it's light. Though the stars twinkle just for me. I think I'm very happy. So I say to myself, I, I love both ways. It would be a shame to take the money. Why, say, if you're on the level, 
Well, you're the most innocent little thing I ever saw in my life. And you want to be careful. You know, there are a lot of fellas around that won't stand for fooling. But I'm not fooling. Say, you're getting under my skin. What that mean? That means that you're getting off of this boat right now. I should have bought those pearls from Joseph. You are ruining my business. I... I... I did not mean to. But I cannot marry Joseph. Now! <laughs> now you taste me. Nah, don't be a fool. Boy, look at that baby swim. What'd you do, bite her? There may be sharks out there. Can't you be serious? Are you? Yes. She's a peach. Oh, Captain. I'll cut it out, will you? Uh, is that it? Well, there's good fish in the sea has ever been caught. I'm going to cast my hook. Yeah. We try the little window and see that it's open. I'll help you. All right. How? Oh, you can't help me. You're not a strong enough. Well, I'll push you up. Here. Get down. Push me up. I want that fellow to evade here. Or do you see that he gets here? Soon. And I can do it too. I'll row out to his boat, invite you for a social glass in the dance hall. Uh-uh. Not that picnic stuff. You get him to the dance hall, I do the rest. And I better take them things for bait. Well, I keep the bait with me. Well, I don't have to go at all if they're afraid to trust me. Any more of your blood when I spill the beans? I give the orders from now on. Do you see him? No, but I hear The bait will be safest if I lock it up. But he's coming this way. Well, watch out and see what he's doing.
He hit a big T in the bed. I go down to the dance hall and wait for you there, so it won't look like we made a scheme up. Right out. They're coming out. Get down! Do that, Anita. I'm going. No, you go and make a lot of noise. I never make noise. Now, come on, push me up. I'm pushing my hardest. <coughs> Push more hard. Get these? Hmm? Where did you get these pearls? From Joseph. He gave them to you? Uh uh. No. I take them. What? Well, Mr. Wade, I do not want to ruin your business. Joseph don't need pearls. I take them for you. What do you take me for, an idiot? And I thought you were different, on the level, and I believed you. What's your game? No game. I want to go to Havana with you. And you expect me to be the goat? Get caught with a girl and stolen goods on my boat? Pretty clever. Please, Mr. Wade. I do not mean to do anything wrong. So it's one of those things, is it? A badger game. Who sent you out here? No one. Joseph? No. Your father? No, Mr. Wade. You take these pearls and get off of this boat. And if you come back here again, I'll have you arrested. Now beat it. Please don't let me go. You send me back to Joseph, I kill myself. Ah, go back and tell your father the game didn't work and you won't have to. Go on, beat it. I... I take the, the pearls back.
put him back. I ain't got him. I ain't got him, Joseph, I swear I ain't. Put him back. I ain't got him, Joseph, I swear I ain't. Somebody was here before me. They must have taken him. I ain't got him, Joseph. Put him back! Ah! Oh. Put him back! Don't cry, Anita. Someday I'll take you to Havana. I... I don't want to go to Havana now, Spotty. Idea. The old man is killing Anita. Well, what of it? Please, Mr. Wade, something terrible is happening. Nothing doing, Spotty. I don't get mixed up in any of these family rows. <coughs> this is a trick, kid. I'll skin you alive. 
Nemo! It's no trick, Mr. Wade. Please hurry. Nemo! Uh. Aye, aye, sir. Where's Mr. Bunyan? He done gone to show to the dance hall. Stand by to put me ashore. Down. You run along home. Leave this to me. Lodge! Nemo! Tell me or I'll... She <laughs> home where she belongs. I don't believe it, but I'll find out. And you're going to take me there and prove it. Now, come on. Leave me on my way. Go on, get out of here. Don't get me. Come on. Nemo. There's a way to the front door. Turn back all of it. He just the plan to do it. Oh, 
Hold on, Morgan. Out this way, by the front door. Bunyan, I don't know if Mr. Blake is not. Don't bother about that. Let's get out of here all together. Don't worry. I'm nearly to the top. You young whelp, come down there. your filthy hands away from there. Go on, me boy, go on. Stop for ya. Now then, you yellow varmint. What's he up to? Whatever it is, I'll bargain. It's no good. Keep away from that door. Keep away from that door or I'll... That's one time you missed with your knife, me bucko. What a man. What a Nita, we can't go all the way to Havana in this little boat. Never mind, push. We must get away from this place. Now hurry up, please. and you had no business putting to sea without orders from me. Orders from you? When I put this tub at sea, you couldn't even order a drink. You're out cold. Well, get this. We're going back. Back? Yes. I'm not going to leave that little girl over there with that bunch of cutthroats. Now make about ship. Can you imagine old man Morgan for a father-in-law? Why, you'd have to put him in a cage. Fine. Bring her up to the wind. All hands on deck. We're going to hell. Harbor. Well, I'll be... No, we ain't. How the heck did you get here? Climate change. 
but holy, don't you? Oh, are you mad with me? No, but how did you get away? Oh, I show you. Come on, buddy. Did you figure this out all by yourself, Captain Kidd? Uh-huh. Well, come on, get out. Do you realize what you've done? Mm-hmm. Do you know that you're the only woman on this boat? Mm-hmm. Do you realize you're making more trouble for me? Haven't you made enough? Mm-hmm. Well, haven't you anything to say to me? Mm-hmm. What? How far is Havana? <laughs> oh boy, our chicken for dinner tonight. <laughs> Boys, our captain gets married on Sunday. Boys, our captain gets married on Sunday. It is a shame. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday.